Okay, well this space plane has completely different dynamics than our previous things. So, save again and and we'll pick a different periapsis. I think we'll just bring it to zero and at this distance and see what happens. At least this approach doesn't look too bad right now. No overheating. It's fairly nose heavy. We can't really lift up the nose very well. There's something there, I guess. I don't know. Some. Oh, that's the remains of the other plane. Remember the one I scraped off? The question is whether I try to use the jet engines at all for the landing. But, uh, no. I guess I should prep them. Yeah, for now, that's right. Okay. You deactivate. There's our base. Well, one of those will be good enough. Don't know what that distance is. We'll loop around and come back in from the opposite side. But now, energy management. And previously we've had trouble with the whole landing bit. This thing does not turn or pull up very easily. But we could use a little bit of the engine thrust. Or not. Depends if they decide to operate. Methane air deprived. Maybe I'll have to... F5 and F9 to get them to work. Probably. I can't pull up very well without the jet engines working. I could light the rocket engine, but... I think this is this is probably a case where I'm just gonna have to reload. There we go. See, I mean, just reloading makes them work. We need like an additional set of vertical stabilizers. Sorry, horizontal stabilizers to do more pitch. Barely pulling up in time. Hefty, hefty bird here. I'm adding some pitch trim. Okay, honestly, I don't even want to do that turn again, so I'm going to save again. Uh, I can't see the land right now, so I don't know what the best approach is exactly. Probably I want to be a little bit off to the side so I don't actually run into them. Okay, what's the stall speed of this thing around here? It's probably pretty high. What's the safe landing speed? Uh oh, things are on a crashing trajectory. Oh no, we lost the wing! Oh no, no, Ah, Ah, it's doing that thing again, where it makes it really hard for me to land even though it ought to land. <laughs> but that's why we saved. Okay. Um, hmm. But... What do we change about our approach that will let this survive? 
still coming too close to the other things. Trying for a slower landing. But can I pull up? I don't know if I can pull up. I don't think so. Ah, uh, pull up, pull up. Ah, uh, that's just okay. Okay, okay. I I need the rest of the plane though. My plane ends up really compressed initially. <laughs> Too compressed. Um, let's just go away from here. I think I'm gonna go with the long taxi method. Instead of going close to the base. If only I could just throw the thing out of the cargo bay and then fly away. <laughs> airdrop it. Could airdrop it. No, don't go up. Oh, don't go down that fast, though. Uh, gosh, if I don't like keep it going up, it really... Oh. Uh-oh. That's probably coming down too fast. Oh, uh, oh! You know what? The the stress of the landing gear is causing the wings to snap. Because the landing gear is on the wings, it, do you see how they sort of fly up? Hmm. I think I'm gonna try and dump the thing out of the cargo bay. Okay, cargo bay open. Brakes on. Docking port prepared for undock. I'll try this path first. I don't don't know if it's a good idea. Ah, I can't pull up. It's not a good idea. Uh, I'm undock. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's not good. <laughs> okay, that was not an optimal way of doing it. Okay, the problem is we're still going forward. Hmm. And it'll hit the back of the bay like that. No, I can't cut the engines at all. Ah. Okay, well the problem with water landing is I'm pretty sure it's gonna destroy the stuff in the bay, but... Um, and also it's gonna be really hard for us to get back to land. But okay. It's gonna kill something. <laughs> Probably the bottom jets. I don't know if it's a good idea to have landing gear out or landing gear in for a water landing. But whenever we have it out, it kills the wings, right? The wings end up absorbing the force. I think we might as well abandon the base module and just try to get it back to orbit safely. We're a little bit far from the shore.
How does it do that? Why can't it do that on land? <laughs> That's crazy. Splash down. No, there's no signs actually. Got me all worked up for nothing. Okay, can it move though? Well, we should just not have these go beyond. Those are off. Oh, that says nominal though. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh, okay, okay, it's overheating. Maybe I should have splashed down a little bit closer. Yeah. I'm not sure I can turn. At all. Okay, we'll try it again closer to shore, but I don't know if I can do it again. Uh, will the game allow me to do it again? I don't know. And it doesn't seem like we can go faster than 0.3 meters per second either. Okay. Oh, am I gonna run out of water? Oh no, I might run out of water. Oop, okay, okay, we're good. Okay, um, landing gear down? Well, we've lowered landing gear, but we're still a little bit high up. Over, you know, the ground, such as it is. Oh! So it's in a crandall plane, <laughs> sort of. It can't go, it, it really can't go very high very easily. It likes water landings, and it's got the engines mounted like that. It's basically an acrylic plane. <gasps> what? What exploded? What exploded? Something. Something went away. Uh oh, we're stuck. No! The nose gear. I think we did lose the nose gear. Hmm. Hold on. Oh no, we lost the. We retracted the landing gear and lost the wing. I should have strutted the wings. Well, while we're in trouble, let's just use the rocket engine. Okay, rocket engine works. But obviously losing a wing doesn't work. There's a little bit of sort of land right there too, we gotta watch out for. Oh 
Oh no, it decided to blow things up already. It took away the cockpit. Ah. Uh... Okay. Okay. Well, let's hope nothing else gets scraped off as we make our way towards the land. Gotta try and keep it not too fast, but if we go too slow then the jets don't get air, so... So basically I don't want to go faster because things might break, and I don't want to go slower because the jets won't get air. Maybe I should save. I don't know if there's a state. I mean, is this really a state you can save in? I don't know. Seems like a very interesting state. It keeps getting, keeps getting. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe if we can lower the landing gear now. I can use the rocket engine, but maybe we can go? Come on, one jet. Okay, fine. Brief use of rocket engine. Oh gosh. Ah, uh, We're wasting the Delta V for orbit. I think it's better without the landing gear up. Come on, jet engines. And why why do you look like you're trying to be afterburner mode? Don't be afterburner mode. Oh no, we lost the nose landing gear again. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, prepare to activate if we slow down. Right. <sighs> okay, we can't go up the slope that fast, apparently. There's apparently some part of a vessel that's still around. I think it's just the engine that's off. Why did- why are you- I mean, of course the engine's important and all, but... Doesn't it seem like we should still be able to control this now? Whatever, but we do want the- it still has crew, I think. But, um... We do want the swerve, so... Let's try again. Okay, that's not working well enough. Landing gear out now. Oop. Okay, hopefully that's good. What? It scraped the swerve off. I turned the swerve off and then it scraped the swerve off. It's still going. Anyway. Why is Cruise not getting 9,000 seconds of ISP? I think it's lying because the afterburner mode visually looks different. 
right? The afterburner mode, the tightens the nozzle. So it's not on afterburnering mode. And uh, as usual, the part manager dialogue just look, is just wrong. Now it's gone to 9,000. Uh, still not good. We probably need more thrust. And this will probably hurt the engine. Uh. Oh, okay. Don't bounce, don't bounce. Oh! Okay, we do need to pitch down there. It seems to go tail heavy even though we've been nose heavy the whole time. I should reset the pitch... Uh, what you call it? The pitch trim. That would be a good idea. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Don't hit the swerve, don't hit the swerve, don't hit the swerve. Oh, we lost the nose gear this time. <laughs> Maybe there's a correct pitch trim for not killing the nose gear and not killing the swerve. I shouldn't have thrown down that much. Now landing here? We're basically at zero. Okay, what just blew up? Um, something just blew up. But I don't know what it was. That's the rover. These are the base modules, I think. Okay, well we're gonna have to park and then try to get the jets running again. Even though they don't like to do that. Okay, let's see. What does the report say? It doesn't say anything about anything exploding. <laughs> but sometimes it omits very critical things. Oh, we really don't want that landing gear out. Um, which we, we're controlling... Yeah, we're controlling that one. Okay. <sighs> oh, for heaven's sakes. It redocked itself. Okay, well, we're going to have to retract that. <laughs> uh, did anything actually break off of it? That was just re vessel destroyed, though. It says vessel destroyed. It doesn't look destroyed to me. I don't even know if anything actually broke or if it just docked itself. Okay, um... Well, we'll have the landing gear retracted first, then undock. Hopefully it won't bounce up. Also, reducing docking acquiring force. Okay. Will, will it survive being dropped from this site? Let's see. Oop. Oh, don't, don't go too close. You might accidentally redock. Okay, now, 
Let me just switch vessels, switch... Okay, no. Uh-oh. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Okay. Okay. Um... Can you not be in that position? Hmm. Okay, I think switching vessels made it stuck. Okay, now, now can you go? Let's try and toggle. Okay, now can you move? Are you, are the wheels busted? The wheels can't bust these days, right? Yet, right? They're not turning either. Okay, uh, I'll try and take off the brakes from here. Might be a bad idea. And then go to here. And why does it only have yellow as brakes? Why can't I just turn off the brakes? Okay, we're, we're going to try something I'm going to regret. Come on. Well, now the front wheels are spinning. They're just not doing anything useful. So th th now they're turning and spinning. Probably not gonna move us. I think maybe it's just that these wheels are not doing their thing. That happens sometimes, I think. I'm going to try to time warp. But it's probably just stuck, stuck. Okay, well, let me try and release again. Okay, let's see. And, uh... Well, here it's only spinning that one. That's because it's sort of tilted a little bit. Oh gosh. And then that's, that's that. Yes, we tested it coming out of the bay on Kerbin, by the way. More traction. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Okay, um... If only I could partially extend the landing gear. Eh, eh, come on! Come on! Rove! Rove! Ah, uh, you stopped roving. Okay, so yeah, let me wrap it up and uh, think about what to do about this and maybe we'll just not drop the base off and we'll just try to abort to orbit with it instead of trying to do that. The base, you know, was, it's tough for it to clear the cargo bay properly right now. We probably want a version with strutted wings as well so that I can land properly. Uh, it's digging in too much into the surface. We probably want the landing gear clearance to be more. So there's a lot of things that we can work on here. But yeah, probably I'll have to end up doing it differently. So with that, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.